Welcome to the People tab. This is a pro-only feature in ChatFuel that is essentially a mini CRM in your chatbot. It allows you to see all the users who have ever engaged with your chatbot, filter them, export their data, and do a number of other valuable things that I'll talk about here in just a second. So starting off at the individual user level, we can click to enlarge their profile picture. Perhaps we're putting together a buyer persona and we want a better look at our customers. We can do that. If we click on their name, it'll bring up this attribute box where we can see all the different attributes they've set. The blue ones here at the top are custom attributes we've created. And then if you scroll down, there are gray ones that are system attributes, attributes that come from ChatFuel and Facebook, such as the user's time zone and language. So I'm gonna click done here. We can also add custom attributes as well if we so choose, just like we did in the live chat tab. Then you can see a number of other data fields here that are also in that list of attributes that I just showed, but these are more visible. If you want as well, if you're searching through users and perhaps you want to initiate a live chat to ask them a question, you can do that by clicking the messenger icon here and it'll redirect you to that live chat folder where you can then engage without the bot interrupting that conversation. But one of the most valuable things that you can do in the People tab is not just look broadly at your audience, but actually narrow it down and see users who meet a specific criteria. So for example, we could filter based on the attribute sessions. This is an attribute built in in ChatFuel. It's not one that we've created, if you're wondering. And this is a count of the number of times somebody has come back to the bot and engaged. It's a indicator of how motivated somebody is to interact with your brand, essentially. So I could say, I wanna find all the people who have had greater than five sessions perhaps. So these people have come back at least six times and there's only two of them, right? Me, because this is a testing bot and nobody else is really engaging with it, which is as expected. So now that I see this list of two very qualified people who keep coming back again and again, who have a lot of retention in this bot, then if I want, I can do a couple things, right? I could send them a message, reach out individually, I could save them to a segment by clicking this save to segment button, which I'll talk about more in a second. I could also export these users to a CSV file, which is essentially an Excel spreadsheet. What that allows me to do for those who aren't familiar is on Facebook ads, which we'll talk about later in the course, in Facebook ads manager, I can upload this CSV file with this user data. Facebook will then find me new users and allow me to target new users who are similar to these existing users. So I know, hey, these people are more qualified, they share certain behaviors, and it's likely that I'll be able to convert them spending less money. So that is an extraordinarily valuable feature. Specifically, those are called custom and lookalike audiences in Facebook Ads Manager. More on that later in the course though. Otherwise, I could filter people who perhaps have less than five sessions, right? I can filter out the inverse of that, and these people are basically telling me, hey, I'm not really that interested in the bot. So what I could then do is select all of them here and delete these users so they're not clogging up my system, so to speak. So you have that option as well. Another powerful feature in the People tab is the ability to create segments, which I just hinted at a second ago. So what I can do here is, let's say I want to create a segment, a self-contained audience essentially of users. So let's say I wanna find people who are men, and I'll build on this filter as well. I'll say men who have had at least two sessions. Great, so I've again just filtered out my own self here, my two profiles, but I'm creating a narrower audience here. And let's say that every time I send a broadcast in the broadcast tab, right, I don't wanna have to manually create this segment using all these different complicated filters and remembering all of that, so I can simplify it by creating a segment. To do that, I would simply click here, save to segment. Once I do that, I can rename the segment here and call it men with more than one session. And now what I can do is in the broadcast tab, when I go to send a broadcast later in time, I can click here and then filter by segment instead of, again, having to add both of those attributes every time. So it's a self-contained audience. It's the best way to describe it. And then I can type in here, 
men with greater than one session. And there we go, it saves a ton of time, right? Of course, in reality, we'd also want to add another filter here in the people tab for this segment to make sure that these users are subscribed. So we'd also want to include subscribed is true. But essentially those are the features of the people tab. Filtering is a big one, exporting custom and lookalike audience is a big one, and then assigning custom attributes as well. Those are the keys. Segments are super useful as well. They save you a lot of time if you're doing any sort of complex broadcasting. So hopefully this convinces you of why the people tab is essential to your chatbot experience. And now I challenge you to upgrade to pro and test it out for yourself.